Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy of Kathy's Cash and Coin. I'm a single mom with three daughters. Although my oldest is grown and out of the house, my middle daughter is a college student away at school. And then I have my youngest that lives here with me in our home. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. Today we are doing savings challenges. I have a lot of savings challenges going on and I love doing savings challenges. So we are gonna go ahead and get started by counting the money. And I have my beautiful bank bag from Miss Gina Renee RN Budgets. So today we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So we're at 160, 62, 64, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, and 82. $182, I think. Hope I counted that right. <laughs> and as always, we're going to start with the Bucks Binder from Reinventing Renee. So every $1 and $2 bill in the U.S. has an, a letter on them, A through L, based on what city they were distributed in. So let's see here. I need two B's. We need one C, so we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to do a... Oh my goodness, these are good letters this week. We're going to do... That's a lot. I don't know if I'm going to do all those because that's a lot, but I know I want to do this C because that will finish off that one. Do I want to do a B? Maybe one B, then I'll have one left there. A lot of H's. Mm. So we do A. We're going to do a lot today. <laughs> B, C, E, two H's, and I. Okay. All right, so for today, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. That's a lot, but that's okay. I have some good letters that I got this week from the bank. So, all right, first one we're doing is an A. A is for my youngest daughter, Audie. And right now these are worth $1 each. When I finish this after the first time, they will be worth $2 next time. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So four more dollars. And this will be completed the first time. Yay. Next is B for my backyard. I have talked about this before. I have a lot of things in my backyard that need to get uh, accomplished, not to mention getting rid of some uh, critters under my back deck. So this will help a lot. And I am paying um, a landscaper right now to do the cutting of my grass. So we need one more B. And this one will be completed. So we have 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yay! So we only need one more. And this obviously has been condensed already once. That's why there's tens in some of these. One more. And C, this is for my car. It'll either go, it'll probably go in my car maintenance fund because I did almost deplete that completely recently. So I'll probably put this 25 in there. Doesn't have to be perfect because I'm just going to wipe it off to start it again. I will probably keep this same category um, after I wipe this off. We're going to add this. And this should be 25, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yay. I am actually not even going to squeeze this in there. I'm going to put this aside and I will stuff this into my car maintenance fund. Yay. Oh, there was a D. I, I did finish this. Uh, D was for dentist and ortho. I finished it once. I did have a D in there, but you know what? We'll worry about that next time. I saw the E, is there one, just one E, is for extra Costco money, which is important because I need to always make sure we have a good amount when we go to Costco. For Costco, we have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 dollars for Costco. H is for Helena, middle daughter. Um, I have two. 
So each of these are worth $2 each. Um, I did finish this once already. So we're gonna just color one in full. And we do have one that needs $1 still down here. But since we have $2, I decided to do one. We still have to finish this one next time I get a single. All right, so we have two, three, four, five, six, and $7 for Helena. And I, we have one I buck, which is for me, myself, and I. This will go into my self-care envelope. So we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 dollars. Yay. So only six more and I can add this to self-care. And finally, we have two L bucks, and L is for my oldest daughter, Lex, and this will be going into her wedding fund. I'm really trying to get this done before the wedding. Um, this will be an extra $50, because I'm doing $2. Oh, I kind of want to put one of these in there too, but they're so nice. I don't want to felt fold them and squeeze them in there. So we're just gonna do the $2 here. So Lex has 5, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, and 32 dollars. Oh my gosh. So 18 more dollars and this one will be completed. And definitely need some condensing here. <laughs> All right. So again, this is from Reinventing Renee. You can get the trackers from her, not the actual binder like I have, um, but you can get the trackers from her and track your own books. All right, next is the Sloth Challenge. This is from Lisa Grateful Me. You can get this from her um, when you go back and watch her video when she reached 4,000 subscribers. This is a $4,200 savings challenge. It is one through 20, 20 times. And I'm gonna use the beautiful binder made from Budget with Emmy. And I have these all numbered one through 20. And we are gonna use the 20 sided die that was sent to me from Bianca at Plan Live Budget. So the first number is 19 and three. So I think I'm gonna do $19 in envelope three. I wanna make more progress in this, so I'm choosing the higher number. So let's see, oh, we don't have a single in here. <laughs> so we're gonna do, you know what? I'm gonna put this two back and take two singles. Uh, okay, so we have the same amount of money in here, but we're gonna put one back <laughs> now and take a 20. I hope that made sense to put 19 in here. So envelope three now has 10, 30, 10, 20, 35, 45, 46 dollars in envelope three. And I think I might roll one more time. I know that was a lot to put in here, but hopefully we can get some no lower numbers. All right, nine nine envelope nine or nine dollars and twenty. So we're gonna do nine dollars in envelope twenty. I don't think we're gonna do twenty dollars today. Mm -hmm. Should I? That would be yeah. No, we're gonna do nine. Envelope, oh, envelope 20 has a single, so we will take the 10. I'm gonna put two 10s back and take a 20, so we have $30 even in envelope 20. All right, great progress today on this. Again, this is from Lisa Grateful Me, and you do have to find the video where she reached 4,000 subscribers, and this was a freebie, and I love it. And it's taken some time, but slowly it's getting colored in. All right, next is this beautiful binder from Budget with Free, crafted by Free on Etsy. And we are gonna do the Roll the Dice Savings Challenge from Reynolds Budget, and this cute envelope was made, made by her. And we're gonna see what we get here. And we got a two. And 
and I'm gonna roll one more time and we got another two. <laughs> So we're adding $4 to the Roll the Dice Savings Challenge. This will be $231 when completed and will most likely be going towards debt. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put these two back. I'm going to put this single back and take a five. All right. So for Roll the Dice, we now have 20, 40, 50, 5, 60, 1, and $62. Alrighty, we are moving on to the uh, investing challenge from Mommy Trader. Um, I have learned a lot from Shalice, Mommy Trader, on investing. And this is the $1 a day. You could do $1 a day, 25 cents per day, whatever you can do daily. Um, just this is my way of learning about stocks and funds. This is not my only retirement plan. This is just something I'm doing on the side in addition to. And we are using the Mega Money Mall from Wendy at the Thrifty Sewers to add to uh, realty income this month. So we got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are landing at Alicia's Tiny Things. I think we land there every single time, which is $6. Oops, I didn't do the six before I spun again. Okay, $6 for that. Now we got a two which is Angie's Food Court, which is $1. I don't think we've ever landed there, so yay. And finally, three. One, two, three. Oh, which is only $1 again. Tracy's Puppy Paradise, $1. Should I roll one more time? I'm going to roll one more time. And we got six. One, two, three, four, five, and six, which is lots of flannel by Liz. And the low amount is $2. So we have, oh, two, three, four, five. Awesome. So we're going to put that back and that back. We have two fives. So we're going to actually take a 10. $10 being added today. So we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and $40. And I am going to go ahead and just take a couple 20s for this 40. And we have $40 going in to my investing challenge. And again, if you wanna learn about investing, please check out Mommy Trader. I will have her linked below as always. And the final challenge in this binder for today is the $5 savings challenge. And this is from uh, Davina C. So we're just adding $5 as always. And we now have 20, 40, 65, 75, 85, and $90 in the $5 savings challenge. So we're almost at our first hundred. This will be 250 once completed. And that is it for this binder today. Okay, we are here with my cute little $50 savings challenge. This is from Golden Girl Budgets, and she may not have this exact challenge available now, but she has so many cute ones to pick from. So we are gonna go right here. $6, okay. Six, should I scratch? No, I'm gonna leave it at six. Or should I scratch one more? I'm gonna scratch one more. I was gonna leave it there, but I, you know what? I wanna get more, ooh. <laughs> well, that was a mistake. Okay, so I was gonna hope for a low number. Okay, so we're actually adding 15 to this today. Okay, well, it got me. So we're adding 15 to the savings challenge, but we have two, four, five more to scratch, yay. And then we have the Never Give Up Savings Challenge. This is from Snow Gardener 307. This is the You Got This, Never Give Up, You Got This Challenge. This is $25 on this side, 75 on the back. So we're gonna finish off the $25 one first before we move to the 75. All right, we got $4, two, four. And we're gonna scratch one more today.
and eight dollars. Well, all right, so eight plus four is 12. So we're gonna put two back, take the 10. Holy cow. So we have 10, 25, $27. Oops, $27 going into my scratch offs today. That is a lot more than I thought was gonna go in them. Oh boy, okay. All right, so with scratch offs and this is a rollover from before I had money in this um, before I started these, so it's not just what this has been. So we're 20, 40, 60, 75, 85, 95, 100, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wow, $112, so that's awesome. I mean, that's a lot for today. I probably shouldn't have scratched a second time, but there's only two more plus uh, three more on this one and five more to scratch on this one. And I will definitely do the $75 one next on this and I will do a pull out another scratch off. So I am trying to get some done because I have so many challenges to work on. Moving on to the mom's heart challenge. This is from Tasha at mindyourmoneytashalovelslife.com. This is for Mother's Day and Father's Day of next year. This is the savings I have for it. I did start it before with other challenges, so this is just going to be added to that fund. So we're just going to do $5 today. All right, like I said, I did start this before. Um, so we do have more money than what should be in here. We're adding $5. So we have 20, 40, 50, 65, 75, 85. 85 dollars for Mother's Day and Father's Day of next year. So this is fantastic. And moving on to my beautiful attire savings challenge. This was sent to me from Mary Baker, and this was made by Save with Sydney Bear. Um, each icon is $5. This is for wedding attire. I have already spent almost all my wedding attire on my girls' dresses, still need shoes, and I still need a dress. So I need to do a couple today. I'm going to do blue. I'm going to do two today. All right, so we're gonna add $10. We have $30 for wedding attire, which is great to add to what I have saved so far. Um, like I said, I did spend what I have, but I'm, I'm bumping that up as much as I can. And hopefully, so this is, we have, with 30, so we have 45 more dollars. I might come back if I can, we'll see. It doesn't look like I'll have enough to come back to it, but if I can, I will come back to this challenge. All right, moving on to Nigel the Nuts from Liz and Les. We have two more acorns, and I so want to do both of them today, but I really um, made a mistake with scratching more of the scratch off, so we're just going to do one nut. That means next week we will have this finished, which is so awesome because this is for Autumn Swim. This is from Liz and Les. I don't know if I said that. Her challenges are awesome. I have more waiting in the wings to get started. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 135, and 140. 10 more dollars. This will be completed, and this will go straight to my sister for the balance, what I owe her on Summer Swim, and then I can finally start saving up for next year's swim. Okay, then we have the Magical Mayhem Challenge. I so wanted to do a ton on this today. Um, we have two tens and four fives left. We are just going to go ahead and do one of the fives. We're going to do one of the fives. Um, next week, hopefully, I can do a ten on this. So we have ten, twenty, thirty-five more dollars to go. So this is Magical Mayhem is from Alicia at Hands and Bands. And you cannot get this from her right now. You have to wait till next May to get it from her. They are not available until May. So I love this challenge. I will be definitely ordering more next May because it's just so cute. So 25, 35, 45, 55, 60, 62, 64, 
$65. So we're very close on this, $35 more, and this 100 will be done. And this most likely will be going to debt. Any of the ones I didn't mention most likely will be going to debt, but top priority right now is anything wedding. And then um, once we get the wedding stuff taken care of, which is next month, in about a month, um, then I can really hit my debt hard, and I'm excited for that. All right, we're going to take care of our $3 IOU from last week, which is great because it doesn't look like we have that much money left. So we're going to add the $3 in here real quick. So we have two $3. Oh my gosh, there's so much cash in here. And let's put that back. All right, here we are back with Scramble from Wendy at the Thrifty Sewist. And we took care of the IOU, which is awesome. And I really am so grateful for all the words you guys contributed. Again, you guys are awesome. 43 contributors, not 43 words because there's some doubles, but we're gonna get through this as quick as I can. Hopefully I won't make any errors. The first word is hun, which is six. Hun was given to me from my friend Tara. Tara Ann, budgets and self care. And then we have bun, which is five. Bun is from Sydney Smith. And then we have buns, which is six. Buns is from Stephanie Martinez and to my friend Tasha at Mind Your Money. And then we have sun, which is three from Donna, the cash stuffing realtor. And then we have run, which is also three. Run is from Beth Beckermeyer. And then we have fun, which is six. Fun is from Alicia Curtis. And then we have fur, which is also six, is from Denise Meyerhoff. I hope I said your last name right, Denise. And then we have fish, which is eight, nine, ten for fish. That came from Jennifer Ward and Sarah Shu Gomez. And then we have furbish, which is. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 for Furbish. And that came from Veronica M. And then we have Furnish. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And Furnish is from your rally at She Has Cash and Plans and Michelle Sheridan. And then we have Burnish. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Burnish is from Andrea Walker, and I love that Andrea gave me the definition as well to polish by rubbing. So thank you so much for that because I did not know that. Then we have Burns, which is seven. Burns is from Cheryl at Green Rain 84. And then just Burn, which came from Mayari Das. And then we have Bush, which is seven, eight, nine for Bush. And that came from Kayla Budgets. And then we have Gush, six, seven, eight for Gush came from Catherine Murano. And then we have Rush, which is seven. Rush is from Keisha Irwin. And then we have Rushing, which is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Rushing came from Amy, aka Al Mitch, and then we're gonna put a B in front of that, make it brushing, which is seven, eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 for brushing. That came from Jade Fob and Joc Jocelyn Hoskins. And then we're just gonna have brush. Seven, eight, nine, ten for brush. Brush is from Joey Roberts. And then we have Shrub, which is also 10. And Shrub is from Ashley Budgets. And then Grub. Seven. Grub is from Ann Watkins and Susan Henson. And then Rub, which is five. Rub is from Christine O'Reilly. And then rib, which is five, is from Rocks Budgets. And then bin, which is five. Bin is from Maureen Donahue. 
And then we have Grin, which is five. Grin is from Jennifer K. And then we have Ring, which is uh, five again from uh, Tara at Life Over Debt. Then we have Bring. Five, six, seven, eight for Bring. Bring is from Deanna Edwards. And then Brings, five, six, seven, eight, nine for Brings, which is uh, from Lisa from Ohio. And then we have Bruins, which is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that came from Rainbow JNP. This was their high school mascot, so that was kind of cool to hear. And then we have Gun, two, three, four for Gun, which is from K Stays on Budgets. And then we have five for Guns from Summer Stidham. And then we're just gonna go flip this around, which is also five. And that is from Susan Appleby. And then we have Bugs, five, six, seven. Bugs is from Nat. Then we have Surf for five, six, seven. Surf came from Courtney at Kirby E Chronicles. If you guys aren't watching Courtney at Kirby E Chronicles, you are missing out. She is just so fun. I feel like if she lived closer to me, we would be besties. She just is a ball of fun. So please check out her channel if you haven't. I just, I think Courtney's just a hoot. Anyway, okay, moving on. Sorry. Surfing. I hope I added that. I hope I added that. Oops. Well, we're going to, well, hopefully I did. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. For surfing. And that is from Anitra A. Macklin. And then we have fusing which is awesome word six seven eight nine ten for fusing and that came from shelly hurst then we have shin which is seven and that is from indie owl designs and finally last word we have is his which is six that is from mrs trini marine for life I added that, right? I hope I did. I think I did because I'm trying my best to add the number before saying who the person is so I don't mess up. $286. Holy cow. But as always, we're going to do 25% of 286. 71.5. So we'll do 71. I definitely don't think we have it this week, but 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 52, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66. So 71. Five dollar IOU. That is awesome. Holy cow. Mm. I thought this was going to be much higher because we spent so much money earlier. But oh my gosh, only a $5 IOU this week. Okay, so let's see how much we have in Scramble. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Okay, so for Scramble, we now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 300. Holy cow. Is that right? 300. Wow. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 337, 342 will be in here. Oh, I forgot to get my little $342 total in scramble. <sighs> Holy cow.
Okay, I am going to go ahead and get the letters and pick for next week. Okay, here we are with all the scramble letters. Now I put a word or words down below and I would get one word from each of you. 43 of you contributed letters last week. Um, so I appreciate you guys so much. It's so fun seeing the words that you guys come up with because I definitely wouldn't have that many without you. All right, first letter is L and an O and another L. Hmm. LOL, huh? A B. So let's find an M. A Y. We're going to use the Y this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. An A. And a T. Should I do one more? I'm going to find one more consonant. Let's see. Is this a consonant? There we go. All right. So the letters this week, and I will try and freeze it the best I can out of the ring light, hopefully there. The letters are L, O, L, B, F, M, Y, A, and T. So go ahead and put your words down below. I appreciate you guys so much. So let me go ahead and put these in the right place. Well, that's it, guys. You guys helped so much with Scramble. I can't believe how much is in there. Scramble will be used. That fund, Those funds will be used for either the wedding or to debt. Once we get through the wedding, I will be focusing uh, on debt more. But right now, um, any money that I have that is not... Um, you know, specifically to make those minimum debt payments, I will be using to put towards the wedding fund um, where I need it most right now, a tire. So at the end of the month, that's where that money will be going to. And hopefully we won't spend it all so I can use more for a debt payment. And then we finished the C bucks. So we did have one finished challenge today. We finished the C bucks in the bucks binder. So I'll put that in car maintenance on my next cash stuffing. Don't forget to leave your words down below. I really hope, um, Appreciate all the help that you guys give me each week with Scramble because I would never have that many words without you all. So have a great week. Have a great night, day, whenever you're watching. You guys take care. Have a blessed day.